Hello, Cancer. Rambler Mike here. Going to play some tarot cards today with you, my friends. Thank you for tuning in one more time. Appreciate your time. Also, I want to thank you for reaching out and touching that like button right there. Just reaching right over. Touch that subscribe button as well. Thank you for that, my friends, for you that have done that. Appreciate it. Also, definitely want to thank all my cancer friends that reach out and bless me with donations. Thank you, my friends. Very kind of you. Many givers out there amongst you, my cancer friends. And definitely want to thank all my cancers that reach out to me for private readings. <laughs> Always a blessing to get to know each and every one of you. I love you, cancer. All right. Just wanted to say thank you for all that, my friends. Let's play some tarot, huh? These readings will be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, for the month of May, the merry, merry month of May, 2019, huh? These readings will be for love and relationships, relationships of all kinds, home, work, family, all that. We got a lot going on. I myself, I'm going to be focusing on love. That's because I love to read for love. We all know there's no way this can be for every cancer on the planet. So hey, if this general reading resonates with you, run with it and have fun with it. And if it doesn't resonate with you, have fun throwing it out. All right. Definitely uh, want to welcome all my cross watchers. You know you're welcome here, my friends. I want to remind you that even though I'll be saying cancer a lot, this can very well play out from your perspective and probably will. Uh, also, um, cancer, I want you to know this can play out vice versa for you. So let's fire up all that intuition, psychic abilities, all those giftings that we all have as we play with this fun, esoteric world of tarot today. huh? All right, cancer, been chopping your cards for a while. Let's go with this right here. I'm going to tune in. Hey, Tara, I love team. Cancer's here to play with us today. Let's tell them what they need to know most for the highest good. I want to thank you for clarity and accuracy on my part. Let me see. Help me speak what I need. Help Cancer see and hear what they need out of this reading today. Let's take all of these amazing pictures and put together a nice, clear, accurate story for Cancer's highest good. Thank you so very much for that love, team. I cannot do this without you. Appreciate you, my guides. <clears throat> Here we go, Cancer. Cutting the deck. Cancer, first card out is my Knight of Cups. And that's the old lover. That's the one that makes the heart go boom, diddy, boom, diddy, boom, boom, boom. It's water energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, sun, moon, rising. Definitely um, shows the white steed and the knight in shining armor sitting up there. <laughs> Has his chalice in his hand, you know. Hi, Cancer. Here's my cup. We'll see where this goes, but, you know, this guy or this gal can be um, non-committal energy. Didn't show up as the queen or the king. It's showing up here as a knight, but it definitely talks about the potential of love coming in here for cancer. Let's see we're crossing over at cancer. Wow, the uh, empress has showed up here. Beautiful, sacred feminine energy. Um, she always talks about new beginnings in abundance and new beginnings in love coming in here for you. Uh, the name of this card is Venus incarnate in the sensual earth. You know, it's about being grounded, too. You know, uh, potential uh, for something amazing. It's a major arcana. This is Taurus. Libra may mean something to you, may not. Aries is also connected with this card. As Aries is connected with the first five cards of the majors. Um, well, this is nice. Somebody... Somebody sees my cancers as the empress right here. And here they come, prancing in. Boom, ba -da boom, ba -da boom, ba -da boom. Hi, cancer. Here's my cup. Let's see where this goes. Woo! Temperance on the base of the spread. It's another major arcana, major life force card. It's Sagittarius. 
may mean something to you, may not. It's that card of patience, huh, Cancer? <laughs> Many of my Cancers have been very patient for a season now in regards to love. Shows Michael right here with the Terra Illuminati deck. He has the two cups in his hand. That always talks about the love to me. You know, the blending of the sacred masculine and the blending of the sacred feminine. It talks about Cancer being very patient seeing things with their third eye, seeing things the way that they want them to be for a season now. Yeah, seeing this lover come prancing back in for you, seeing yourself as the empress right here. It's nice, Cancer. You know, this talks about the potential for all the cooperative components coming together for you, being at the right place at the right time. You know, it talks about meditation and all of that fun stuff that helps us manifest what we want, huh? Michael's third eye is definitely illuminated right there. That's because, you know, the angels, they don't focus on the 3D. They focus on the 5D. They know that that's where it all begins. So I was in the 5D. It always starts in the spirit before it manifests in the natural, huh? These angelic forces, they know that. It's time we figure it out too, huh? Here we go. Temperance at the base of the spread. Uh, it's a beautiful card. This is a beautiful opening. The, the, the Knight of Cups, the Empress, and Temperance. Recent past, it is my Queen of Wands, fire energy here. Um, Aries Leo Sagittarius. Sun, moon, rising. But my queen of wands here, uh, no gender involved with these. This is somebody uh, that's very good looking. Uh, they may have uh, showed up in the recent past. Uh, <laughs> the life of the party, the party doesn't start until queen of wands shows up. She is the queen of passion, you know. The, the, the lover right there, you know, and, and the patience and the fire with Michael. Um, I like her. She, this is a uh, queen that gets up and goes and gets what she wants. If this person hasn't approached you, they've definitely been thinking about it. Uh, this person's, you know, the, uh, you know, the black cats right there, so... They're very intuitive, and uh, they may have psychic abilities on their own. I mean, this is a little witchy-poo to me, male or female, huh? But definitely the queen of passion in the uh, recent past. Um, you may have been thinking about them or them thinking about you, or they may have approached you already. Yeah, two of swords up on the top of the spread. That's that card of indecision about uh, what cancer is going to do in this situation. Because, you know, that's probably the indecision because of this, you know, lack of commitment from this person right here. And them being very passionate and very good looking and have the potential to have a lot of suitors. You know, this Queen of Wands and my, and my Knight of Cups there, huh? And, uh leaving cancer in this area right here of indecision about what they're going to do about it. Definitely protecting their heart. My, my little uh, princess right there, she has her hands over her heart, making a decision about what she's going to do at this particular point in time. Um, could be this person as well. I see that, uh, you know, this is air energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, sun, moon, rising. Could very well be this queen or this knight of cups individual right here. The one that cancer has been patient for. The one that has really turned cancer into the empress right here. Hmm. You know, the empress doesn't get up out of her throne and chase anything. She knows her worth. She's seated in her throne using law of attraction to attract her love and abundance of the highest degree. Somebody's in the land of indecision right here, but definitely shows this young lady in the card with her hair blowing back. Tough definitely talks about the winds of change 
have begun to blow here in Cancer's love life. Woo, I like it, I like it. And we got a full moon right there. You know, it talks about following your intuition and all of that. Here we go, immediate future. Hangman showing up here. You know, still stuck like Chuck because it looks like somebody's in the land of indecision. Could be cancer right here because of this non-committal energy that I see on this spread. This is definitely somebody very fun, very exciting, very passionate. Uh, but they may come prancing in and prancing back out. And that's really not the, what the Empress is looking for. The Empress is looking for her emperor. Hmm? And this talks about, you know, being stuck, hanging in the hangman's tree right there. But the hangman, he's not tormented in any way, shape, or form. Because, he, well, he's hung by his foot, not by his neck. He's definitely getting a new perspective about what's going on around him at this particular point in time. I mean, his eyes are wide open, seeing things in a new light and in a new way. Five of Wands, that's because, well, there's definitely been a situation. The fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Five of Wands is my tussle card. Uh, you see them there. Hmm? All with those wands of passion, all swinging them around. They're not really hitting each other with them, but... Hmm, kind of, if you look at this card, kind of looks like a lightning bolt right there. It's the zigzag, zig, 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 zig. You know, the same lightning bolt that's on the tower. Definitely, Cancer doesn't want the tower situation to fall here. Two of swords in the land of indecision. Hangman about what they're going to do with this very passionate, non-committal energy. Uh, the one you've been patient about right here. Because this is a card of competition as well. You know, I don't see cancer. The Empress doesn't play with competition. She just doesn't. She's the Empress. Uh, she absolutely knows her worth. Five is a, is a number of change, though. Change coming in for cancer because of the contrast that's been going on right here. Definitely uh, looking at things with a new light and a new eye as we go into May here. Mm-hmm. Seven of Pentacles on top of the spread. Earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising. I would say that Cancer, who have both Patience cards, are out here on this spread. Seven of Pentacles is a card of Patience and Divine Timing. Tells me that Cancer has put a lot of work and a lot of effort into this relationship. My little gardener in his garden of life right there is staring at this one pinnacle down here that doesn't have any grapes on it, you know. Uh, but there are many, many uh, pinnacles around this person right here, the money tree. Uh, many times when we go through these situations right here, we're, uh, you know, uh, a, a fickle lover that plays around in our world. Many times we would just go to work. And make some coin for ourselves. The money tree is on the board right here. The seven of pentacles. It's also a card of that there are many good things happening in Cancer's life. All of these pentacles around him all have grapes on them. It's a card of gratitude for me. Being grateful and thankful for the uh, lotuses that are unfolding properly in your life at this time, Cancer. Um... That always helps to unfold things the way that we want them to go. And be that could be the new perspective, maybe not even a new perspective that Cancer's had because you've been patient with this for a while with uh, temperance on the board here. Could be you calling the shots about what you want to do with this relationship with this person. King of Swords, air energy shown back up again. You know, in the hopes or fears position is the king of swords, this is air. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, sun, moon, rising. This can be somebody that um, is stubborn. You can also talk about in this position that, you know, you're hoping for clear communication to come in this situation. I see both people right here. Both of them are protecting their hearts right there. That person, the little... 
uh, red-headed person is protecting her heart and the king of swords right there is protecting their heart as well so definitely i've uh, been going round and round with this person for a minute uh, you really would like it to go somewhere but i just don't see that non-committal energy changing the king of wands on top of the spread this is definitely a soulmate relationship for somebody uh, but, you know, the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands have showed up on the spread right here. So this is Fire Energy, Aries Leo Sagittarius, Sun Moon Rising. This is definitely a soulmate couple here out of the few cards that are on the spread. I see you, you know, Cancer's going to make a head over heart decision in this. Uh, they really don't want to... Uh, throw their heart into it anymore. This other person needs to throw their heart into it. Um, uh, it's one thing that is lacking here is cups. I don't see cups here. I see a lot of patience. I see a lot of, uh, I am incorrect. <laughs> there is a cup right in the middle. This, this knight of cups is on the board right here. Now we got my king of wands. This is somebody who gets up and goes and gets what they want. Uh, there could be a real shift in this person here uh, as we go into the second half of May because my queen of wands here has that energy. I feel this is my cancer's energy that they know their worth. This queen knows her worth. And if she's not showed the worthiness that she knows that she's worthy of, she will go get somebody else to, you know, line up with her vibration. Mm -hmm. And it uh, looks to me like this king right here hmm? can't get his thoughts off of cancer anymore. They've definitely tried, you know, it's somebody good looking, can have a lot of suitors potentially, definitely full of passion. That's the king of wands. He gets up and goes and gets what he wants. It is an outcome here. An outcome is the king and the queen of wands on the board. I see two people protecting their hearts. And, and, and people have been patient in this situation because there's been competition. They don't want to fight with each other anymore. See what's on the bottom of the deck. Mm -hmm. Ace of Pentacles coming off of the bottom of the deck. That is uh, the first pinnacle in the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of, Ten of Pentacles being that quintessential universal dream. The little white picket fence and the big pink house. The loving couple. You know, the babies and the bliss. Money in the bank. You know. There's been seeds that have been sown between these two right here. Like I said, these readings aren't for everybody. But this is definitely a soulmate connection that is trying to come together. Uh -huh. They can't get their thoughts off of you. Um, and uh, absolutely, I mean, you put a lot of work and a lot of effort, a lot of patience, a lot of prayer, a lot of meditation into the situation. It is a great card because it talks about um, the Ten of Pentacles being a potential outcome right here, you know, with uh, uh, temperance. Uh, Sagittarius, uh, Michael. But it can take a hell of a long time. That's the problem with this card, huh? I can see that this has gone on for a while with many of my cancers, huh? But uh, I, I do like that the king and the queen of wands are both together in this spread at the beginning of May. Seven of wands... Coming out underneath that talks about, um, it's my hero's card. It's fire energy. Or is Leo Sagittarius, Sun Moon Rising. It's, this is, this, I would say that this is cancer. Deciding to do what's best for them. Choosing the path that they're going to go down. They don't care who likes it or who don't like it. Normally when we got a lover like this, it's skaty and flighty. All your friends will tell you, oh, you don't let that go. It's a no, no, no. But uh, I don't really see that cancer has right here. They're still holding on to this person, at least with their heart chakra. 
you know, because the seven of wands there, you know, this person's going to do what's best for them. They don't care what other people think about it. But one thing's for sure when seven of wands comes up, there is a new sheriff in town here, huh, Cancer? There is absolutely a new sheriff in town it's right here. It's this energy of this king of swords, you know, head over heart. Hmm. Let's keep that nice and balanced in there with temperance. Not, not too much all up in the head, not too much all up in the heart. Hmm. It's a beautiful, beautiful spread right here. And in the future, we got coming out uh, the, the high priestess. Yeah, she talks about psychic abilities and all that. That is the Cancer card. It is the Pisces card as well. It's the moon right there. Intuition, psychic abilities, all of that, being led and guided by the divine. Maybe some secrets here this person doesn't want you to know about. All that shit, huh? Five, five of... Five of Wands, mm -hmm. uh, Five of Pentacles coming out as well. Uh, here's a little secret. Uh, they miss you just as much as you miss them. Mm -hmm. Five of Pentacles shows two people out in the cold. When one feels left out in the cold, the other one does. These are two soulmates that come interact with each other lifetime after lifetime. It's a powerful spread right here. These two right here. Been playing Five of Pentacles with each other. Feeling left out in the cold from each other. Both of them need to go up the stairs right there into that big lit up building, huh? What's that? That's Source. It's the Divine. All of that. Get that connection real sweet in the 5D right back here. Exactly what you're doing. And see it grounding in with that Empress energy. Five of Pentacles, neither one of them wants to be left out in the cold anymore. Everybody's working to clear this energy from what I can see. One step at a time. Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment coming in here in the future. You know, like I said, summertime. I see with a lot of these. Three of Pentacles, working on a foundation of something that's important to you with somebody else. Somebody that rings your bells. Everybody's going to figure this out here in a minute. And Ten of Cups wants to come flying in here one more time for my cancers, huh? Ten of Cups, the happy ever after. Once upon a time, there was cancer, and they lived happily ever after. The loving couple with the rainbow, with the nine cups of wish fulfillment, the tenth cup in the lover's hands. You know, it's a very fairy tale, fairy tale story that I'm looking at right here, you know. Phoenix from the ashes kind of situation. But I see, you know, that Cancer's going to set up boundaries with this person. They're just not going to be able to come just prancing in and prancing out. That's because Cancer has become this Empress energy right here. And uh, definitely interacting with the Divine very, very strongly, huh? And uh, definitely just not going to play with this Five of Wands energy. Uh, this Ace of Pentacles, it has taken root. There's roots coming off of that right there. It is eventually going to lead to Nine of Cups and Ten of Cups for my Cancers right here. With my King and my Queen of Wands. It's a love story, no doubt about it. Where Cancers changing the rules. They're, they're making head over heart decisions with this person right here. They're setting up new boundaries and new rules and all of that. And good for you, Cancer. Good for you because you figured out the energy that you're not the only one that feels left out in the cold when there's this strong of a bond between two people right here. It's a very interesting spread. Look at what jumped out right here, huh? After all that, of course... True love came out here. I've been reading this story for cancer for a while with this true love, true love story. But it did, and right behind it, huh? Crazy as it is, you know, red flags came up. Keep your eyes wide open because you're definitely going to have to set your boundaries up with this person. They are not going to be able to stay away from you. They probably think about you all day and all night, cancer. Look at that king with his hand on his on his chin right there in that thinker's position, huh? Yeah. Uh, 
uh, True Love did come out here. Ten of Cups, Nine of Cups, Three of Pentacles, working on a foundation of something that's important to you. They find you very, very mysterious right here. Yeah, with that high priestess. I mean, she's just a magnet for uh, attracting uh, wonderful uh, events and uh, people into your life right there. She's very spiritual along with the Empress. I mean, that's the Empress in the 3D and that's the Empress in the 5D right there. Very, very, very good. Uh, my Cancer, whoever this is, is, flies really high and, and just attracting this person. They're definitely going to have to make some change because Cancer's making change with that King of Swords energy there and Seven of Wands energy there. It's beautiful. Here we go. Look, very soon jumped out. Very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes... To you now, Cancer. What do you want? True love, huh? But if they're coming in with red flags, um, I don't see you playing with that. That could be what Hangman's about right there. Just setting them over in a timeout chair again. Because this person's not going to stay away from you, Cancer. Not anymore. A big, big change in their world. And we did get it safe for you to love. It's very nice. <clears throat> Open your heart chakra to give and receive the... Uh, highest energy of all. Um, that always talks with me about keeping your heart chakra open. You know, right down here with Temperance, with Michael. Keeping your heart chakra open to the universe, allowing that agape love to come in and that agape love to go back out. It's a nice love story that can't stay away from you, Cancer. I, over and over and over I see that. And continually you setting up boundaries with this person because love should be easy. Hmm. Should be like breathing, love in, love out, love in, love out. And somebody over here is figuring that out. That old king of wands, be it a boy or a girl, they're figuring it out about you, Cancer, huh? Yeah, all right. Let's do it. Let's do a major overall with the David Bowie deck. Sun card. <laughs> what a lot of crazy reads. Sun card came out right here. It's Leo. May mean something to you, may not. My majors that I have on the board are Leo, Sagittarius, uh, Taurus, Libra, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Sun card right here at the end. Uh, you see the two souls right there. I mean, if this is for you, it's resonating, huh? You see them right there. This is meant to be. No doubt about it, but uh, not meant to be the way that they wanted it to be, that's for sure, huh? Where they can just come in, just come in prancing around. Oh, hi, Cancer, la di da And once again, I mean, the sun card's showing up here. Um, it could be dancing in the sun. Mm. You know, this is Leo, that's July, August. It continues to show up in these spreads from my Cancers, but many of my Cancers are definitely dealing with a Leo right here. No doubt about that. Hmm. Came in that old beast right there. Bottom of the deck is the Wheel of Fortune. Hmm? Definitely um, karmic. Karmic cycles have gone round and round and round between these two right here. But this definitely tells me that the wheel is spinning in an upward direction. Winner, winner, chicken dinner coming in here. An omen of good luck on top of this. You see all those angels and your ancestors, grandpa and grandma on the other side right there, helping Cancer's wheel to spin in an upward direction, huh? Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I like it for you, Cancer, it's good. Be the new sheriff in town, huh? Hope you got something out of this, my friends. Namaste. Love and light, Cancer. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.